everybody, Mystery Girl here. Hi, welcome back to the Jesus Christ RPG, and this time we're doing the Rise Jesus Christ RPG. So let's go ahead and get started. I haven't even played it yet. Chapter 1, Arrival in Jerusalem. Wow. So it starts off there. Oh, so they meet everybody at level 10. Cool. So I don't have to worry about anything else. Things are so expensive at the temple, makes me want to start a new religion. What? Oh, that's right. Uh, Jesus, Palm Sunday just happened this Sunday, so that was when Jesus was riding a donkey into Jerusalem, and he, the palm trees, old clothes, stuff like that, was laid out on the ground for him as he walked into town. That was the way the scriptures want. That's the way the scriptures are, and it was actually in the prophecy that stated the Messiah will ride in, like on a horse and carriage, something like that. I don't know. They it, as years went on in the Bible, like they they depicted it weird. What's that? that ch ch I don't. Know. Okay, so where's the temple? Well, we're not allowed in there. Don't the scriptures say that the Christ is a descendant of David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? Yes, actually, Joseph was in the line of David. So, yeah. He is from the descendants of David. If most of you don't know who David is, uh, if you've ever heard the story David and Goliath, that's the David we are talking about. He becomes king of Israel, then, uh, he's human, so he, he's walking on the, he does a lot of stuff for Israel, but he becomes one of the, one of the good kings, I think. No, one of the best kings of Israel. Uh, his son Solomon was the most was the most wise. It's just, his fault was women. I'm not saying this is a bad thing or anything, it's just that's what happened. Okay, so... What the heck? Where are we? Is this the way to the temple? This is a graveyard. That we're not having to deal with yet. Anybody else here? No Ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay, so what's this little boy gotta say? Golgotha, yes, the hill of Golgotha was known where he was, where Jesus Christ was crucified, along with two others. Okay. Oh, we go over here. Go in here. Added like the when Jesus fed the four thousand with only two loaves of bread and yeah I think it was two loaves of bread and three fish it was one loaf of bread and two fish I know I'm gonna contradict my own self but oh it was. Five loaves of bread and two fish. That's gross. Dang it. It was five loaves of bread and two fish. I knew it was something. 
just couldn't remember the numbers. Okay. So... Where's the temple? Is it down here? Somewhere? Anywhere? Oh, okay, um... We would like to go in the temple, please. Where's the temple? Hey, we know where the temple is! Holy crap! No, he used his own power. Why would you add poker in this game? Outside. Why are you testing me? Bring me Daenerys and let me look at it. Man gives Christ Jesus Christ a coin to look at. Whose image is this and whose inscription? Caesar's. Give to Caesar things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. Yeah, that was one of his um that was one of the tests the people did. They were like Okay, so we shouldn't be giving money to Caesar, right? But he, but Jesus showed, you know, that's not who it is. Teacher, Moses wrote for us that if a man's brother dies, leaving a wife and children, that man must marry the widow and father children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first one married a woman and died without children. The second, and then the third married her. In the same way, all seven died, leaving no children. Finally, the woman died. In the resurrection, therefore, whose wife will the woman be? For all seven had married her. The people of this age marry and are given in marriage. But those who are regarded as worthy to share in that age and in the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. In fact, they can no longer die because they are equal to angels and are sons of God. Since they are sons of the resurrection, but even Moses revealed that the dead are raised in the passage about the bush. bush. Yeah. Where he calls the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Now he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for all live before him. Teacher, you have spoken well. Okay, so I just talk to people? This is the Christ. No, for the Christ doesn't come from Galilee, does he? He was traveling in Galilee. Okay, that's what he did. Okay, maybe I should go down a little more. Maybe there should be something around here that I need to do. I liked how they added the Chi James to him. This is part of the town that's a bit spooky, so people moved out. I like playing here, because I can be all by myself. Weird. Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of adultery. In the law, Moses commands us to stone the death of such woman. What do they say? then do you say? Now, in the Old Testament, in the Bible, it's stated that anyone caught with adultery, both man and woman, were supposed to be stoned. Whoever among you is guiltless may be the first to throw the stone. Woman, where, where are they? Do no one condemn you? No one, Lord. I do not condemn you either. Go and from now on, do not sin anymore. I feel so happy for her. Should I be doing all this again? Nope. Yeah, so if... Well, you guys, that was the story of the uh, adulterous woman. Uh, in some versions, like she was dragged away naked. Uh, they were say they were saying that uh, he was saying like, if any of you is not guilty of anything, you may throw the first stone. She, I mean, that story really. Compelled 
killed me as a child hearing about that because he showed her mercy and love. Not many people in that time really understood his teachings. Like, he was... Okay, how do I say this? It's like Donald Trump running for president. And I'm not contradicting or anything. I'm not saying, you know, Donald Trump is bad or anything like that. No. It's like a... As my dad puts it, like, in politics, Donald Trump coming into presidency, it's like a fresh air coming in. Something like that. What am I saying? So, at that time, Jesus was known to Uh, he only did his ministry for three years. And during those three years, he helped so many people, did a lot of miracles, did a lot of teaching. Uh, the temple did not like it. So what they did was they wanted to um, try to stump him, and it didn't work. Oh, we can finally go in here. What? Is it not written, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have turned into a den of robbers? I remember... I remember that story. Refrain. Maybe refraining helps. Jesus, you refrain, you refrain, you attack, Matt Merchant, you attack. Okay, refrain, refrain, attack, attack. So again, refrain, refrain, attack, attack. Yeah, if I remember correctly, when Jesus got into the temple and saw all the merchants buying in the temple, like selling in the temple when they shouldn't be, and they were selling lambs that weren't pe um, in the old scripture, if you read, um, like, the Bible is all intertwined the way it is. And when, in most of this time, you had to, when you were sacrificing an uh, animal, it had to be pure. I did not have should not have had any faults. It was not supposed to have any spots, like any disease, or had to be spotless and pure and perfect. Well, they were selling wool in Jesus' time. The animals were not perfect. They were not the way the, the instructions were, and many people were selling them to others to sacrifice to the Lord. And Jesus got angry and Basically, he got so angry, he flipped tables. Money spilling around, merchandise going everywhere. Like, he just flipped tables and was so angry. And all the apostles just stood there silent. Because they knew he was angry. Um, before I talk to you, I better save. Hey, Buster, you break your butt! He's not gonna do that. Okay. The way they did this looks pretty cool. But still, it's like, what the heck? Oh crap. Wait. 
equipment. Optimize, okay. That's right, he still gave him the key to heaven before, so... Don't give me this hippie mumbo-jumbo. This isn't just a temple, it's a shopping mall. And if you're not a customer, you must die. What? No! You're in... You're in a temple where you're supposed to pray. You're not supposed to... Be there to sell stuff. That's against... That was against the teachings. And even still today, you don't... Like, one time I brought a, uh... Brought a box of chocolates into the church. Like, into the sanctuary. And I, my grandma scolded me later and told me that I should not have done that. So I have learned, like, if you're selling something, make sure it's out of the sanctuary. Make sure it's, like... Like out in the foyer or something like that it makes it a lot easier. It, it's like you're not selling anything in the holy sanctuary where like you can pray and people can. So this way it's a lot easier. That's how I was taught. I don't know about anybody else. But that's just how it was. And that's just how it was in Jesus' time. It's still happening today. Why would you add communists? That was not in there at the time. That happened. Yeah, I mean, nobody messed with Jesus when he got angry. That was one of the things people did not understand. save, just in case. This looks like it's about to be a boss. Say so FS, talk to my father. Destroy this temple, and in three days, I will raise it up again. This temple has been under construct construction for 46 years, and you're going to raise it up in three days? Ew. Yeah. It's against demons, though. You can attack. You attack, you attack. Okay, so... Bread... To you, talents. Yeah, she needs that. Oh, I should have gotten that one. Darn it. Am I 
doing something wrong here. Oh! Duh. I'll try that. No, you attack him. You... everybody yeah. okay so he was finally defeated a while. The Last Supper. Later, Jesus Christ gathered his followers for their last meal together. However, he said Simon Peter would deny him three times, and Judas Iscariot would betray him. That is true. So... I better save here. What the heck? Yeah, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Cause that is just wow. <laughs> that is just crazy. Wow. So, but that is true. Simon Peter did deny him three times by two rooster crows, and Judas did betray him. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Stay frosty! Bye! See you next time!